I came across a strange looking indicator on TradingView, one that hardly anyone was talking about. At first, it just looked like another oscillator, but I had a feeling there was more under the hood. So I did what most traders don't. I gave it to an AI. With Claude's help, I turned this open source script into something far more powerful, a fully automated trading bot. No hype, no guesswork, just a step-by-step -step transformation from raw indicator to tested profitable strategy. In this video, I'll show you exactly how I did it. From analyzing the original code, to using AI to build a strategy, to generating the Pine script, and testing it directly on TradingView for real results. Let me show you how it all started. I was scrolling through TradingView, looking for something different. Not your typical MACD crossover or RSI divergence indicator, something with a bit more signal logic baked in. And that's when I found it. It's called Volume MA's Oscillator by Lyro RS. A lesser known indicator, but visually, it stood out. Two bold lines, red and green. Clear momentum shifts. Plus, it includes built-in long and short signals right on the chart. Perfect for building a rules-based strategy. At first glance, it looks like a hybrid between a volume oscillator and a momentum filter. The green and red lines you're seeing represent the relationship between volume-weighted moving averages, not price. That's important. Because this tool doesn't just react to price movement. It responds to the strength behind it. The logic is simple yet powerful. When green dominates, bulls are pushing with volume. When red takes over, bears have the upper hand. You also get these up and down arrows on the oscillator, which trigger potential entry points based on predefined thresholds. On the price chart, you'll notice it prints long and short labels. That's the built-in signal engine at work. But here's the catch. Those signals alone aren't reliable enough to trade blindly. They lack filters. They lack risk management and they definitely lack customizability. So I thought, what if we took this indicator and gave it a brain? That's where Claude AI comes in. I took the original source code of this oscillator, pasted it into Claude, and asked it to analyze the logic and suggest a strategy we could actually trade. The goal wasn't just to understand what the indicator does, but to unlock the hidden potential inside the code. Because sometimes, what matters most is not what the indicator shows, but how you use it. And that's what we'll get into next. Once I had the indicator, I didn't just want to follow its signals blindly. I wanted a real trading strategy, something structured, something that could adapt to different markets and conditions. And instead of building it from scratch, I decided to let Claude AI do the heavy lifting. And what it suggested honestly blew me away. Claude explained that this is a volume-based oscillator. It measures how far price is deviating from its volume-weighted moving average and adds dynamic bands that expand and contract with volatility. In other words, it doesn't just track price, it tracks the strength behind the price using volume. That already made it more interesting than most indicators I've seen. Then it broke down the three modes built into the script. There's a trend mode for catching breakouts, a reversion mode for playing extremes, and something it called a valuation mode, which basically helps identify when the price is relatively cheap or expensive. But what caught my attention most was the strategy it proposed, a hybrid between trend and reversion signals filtered by volume and volatility. Claude suggested using an EMA to track direction and watching for when the oscillator crosses certain dynamic bands. It recommended going long when the oscillator pushes through the upper band with strong volume and short when it breaks below the lower band under the same conditions. It also suggested looking for bounce setups where the oscillator hits a lower extreme, shows divergence, and then turns around. For risk management, it said to use the ATR to calculate smart stop loss and take profit levels, but it didn't stop there. Claude also said the strategy works best when you combine multiple timeframes. Use the higher time frame, like the 4-hour or daily, to set the overall trend, and then go down to something like the 1-hour or 15-minute to actually enter your trades. It claimed that with the right filters, this system could hit a win rate of around 60%, with a solid risk-reward setup. And it's all based on volume, volatility, and structure, not just random entries. So I gave Claude one more prompt. Take that strategy and write me a full Pine script version of it, with ATR stops and targets, customizable risk reward, and filters I can turn on or off. And just like that, it gave me clean, modular code I could drop straight into TradingView. Everything was adjustable, from the band settings to the signal logic to how aggressive or conservative the stop losses were. It wasn't just a copy of the original indicator anymore. It was a fully formed, AI-crafted strategy, ready to test. So I did exactly that. I pasted it into TradingView, and waited to see what would happen next. And what I saw surprised me. Let's jump into the backtest results. The chart was set to Solana on the four hour time frame, and on default settings, without changing a single parameter, the results were immediately impressive. 
over 182 trades, the strategy showed a profit of 182%. That's right, 1% growth per trade on average. The win rate? A solid 58%, which is already above break-even when paired with the default risk-to-reward ratio. Not bad for zero manual tuning, but of course, this is just the starting point. Before touching the inputs, I started with the visuals. I went to the Style tab and disabled everything except the buy and sell signals. This keeps the chart clean and focused on actual entries, without unnecessary noise. Then I opened the Properties tab. I changed the account balance to $1,000, just to simulate a realistic test account. Now it was time for the real magic. Customization. Inside the Inputs section, I began adjusting the core parameters. The first change? Switching the moving average type from EMA to TEMA a triple exponential moving average. This tends to respond faster to price shifts while still smoothing out the noise, giving better entries during momentum moves. Next, I fine-tuned the band settings, adjusting how wide or narrow the upper and lower boundaries are based on volatility. And I changed the strategy mode from trend to hybrid, which combines both momentum breakouts and mean reversion logic. This shift alone improved the responsiveness of entries and expanded the coverage across different market phases. For risk management, I kept most of the default settings, ATR-based stop loss and take profit, with a 1.1 risk to reward ratio. But just out of curiosity, I decided to test one tweak, increasing the TP ATR multiplier from 2 to 2.5. That's basically asking the strategy to let winning trades run a bit longer before taking profit. The result? A significant jump in overall profit. Now, if your goal is to increase win rate instead, not total profit, you could lower the TP multiplier to 1.5. That tightens the exits, closing trades sooner, which boosts win rate to over 66%. But for this test, I settled on 2.0, a balance between decent wins and decent accuracy. Finally, I adjusted the trend filter value, pushing it from 50 to 100. This made the trend bias stricter, only allowing trades in stronger directional markets, which reduced noise and added more structure to the system. And just like that, with a few thoughtful changes, the results spoke for themselves. The strategy now had a 61% win rate out of 201 trades, with a total net profit of over 460%. That's on the same 4-hour Solana chart. The maximum drawdown during the test was around 25%, which may seem high to some traders, but that can be optimized further by adjusting stop-loss placement, reducing position size, or limiting trade frequency. The takeaway here is simple. This strategy works right out of the box. But when paired with smart tweaks and a little AI help, it becomes something powerful. Now, while the four-hour strategy already delivered impressive results, I wanted to see what would happen if I pushed the indicator even further. Could we turn this into a sniper-style system with even more accuracy? To find out, I switched the time frame from four hours to one hour, giving us more data points, more signals, and faster feedback. This kind of setup is perfect for traders who prefer tighter stops, quicker exits, and more frequent trade opportunities. Once on the one-hour chart, I opened the strategy settings and started making adjustments. First, I changed the band length to 15, which allows the bands to react more quickly to short-term price shifts. I set band smoothing to 1, keeping the signal sharp and responsive. The upper band multiplier was increased to 3, and the lower band multiplier was set to 3, widening the threshold for breakout trades and filtering out small, meaningless moves. Then I switched the strategy mode to trend, focusing purely on momentum-based entries. To improve signal precision even further, I enabled the trend filter and set its length to 50. This gave the system a solid directional bias, preventing it from trading in choppy sideways markets. Finally, I turned on the ADX filter, which is set to default parameters. This addition helps confirm that price is moving with real strength before any entry is allowed. With all these adjustments in place, it was time to test. And the results were exactly what I hoped for. Over just 45 trades, the strategy returned a 96% total profit, with a win rate of over 77%, and a maximum drawdown of less than 10%. That level of accuracy and risk control is rare, especially when using a fully systematic approach on a volatile asset like Solana. It's fast, sharp, and highly selective. Ideal for day traders who want tighter control, more frequent entries, and consistent performance across active sessions. So to wrap this up, what started as a simple open source indicator became a complete trading system, powered by AI, refined with smart filters, and tested live on TradingView. If you found this breakdown useful and want to see more AI-powered strategies, don't forget to subscribe, drop a comment with your favorite indicator, and I'll turn it into a custom strategy in the next video. 
your next setup might already be waiting on TradingView. You just haven't unlocked it yet.